The writing process was fairly hardcore. I've said it before, but I just found that this class had a little bit too much writing in it. I've taken 17A before and wrote zero papers. The only papers we really wrote in that class were the formatted paragraphs uh, during our tests. While I understand it's part of being a historian, I'm not going to be a historian, therefore I don't really understand in writing 20 pages of papers in a history class uh, online. It's just a basic college course. To develop my supporting points and minor theses, uh, I just used the base of all my English classes that I have taken. Uh, for the supporting points, I tried to use valid information that wasn't tainted by bias or opinions, and I only gave fact. Uh, with, from the information that I found. My minor thesis were areas that I saw were good places uh, to develop my information that had a fair enough body, like a big enough amount of information to actually pull information from uh, and keep it, you know, fairly consistent. The development of my historical question, I really just asked myself if I was reading this for the first time and didn't know a whole lot about the Irish potato famine, what, what questions would I have going into it? and what questions would I have during the reading it. Um, I know a lot of people know of the Irish potato famine, but not a lot of people know why it happened. Uh, and I would like my readers to leave reading my paper knowing why. The hardship of this paper would just be the sheer amount of writing. I thought I was done with writing, and I wasn't. Um, understandably, it is an online course, so there's not a whole lot of other things we could have done. I found the most difficulty in finding my primary source information in large quantities. So I found multiple small primary sources, and I had to compile them all into one large primary source. Um, and then from that, the issue would be back then they used a different type of English, uh, a little bit more proper, very odd words, um, and there was no word processing. So there's a lot of errors uh, and typos in all the paragraphs and all the articles that I found, uh, which was hard to sift through. I learned more about the Irish potato fam than I ever knew. My overall goal is doing that and choosing this as my topic, and I'm glad I chose it. And I hope you enjoy what I came up with for my final paper. I don't hate my sources. Um, I, like I said, I did find it very hard to read through them with all the lack of autocorrect they had. So uh, it was a real downer sometimes trying to sit there and sift for an hour or two through stuff that I didn't really understand what they were trying to say. I didn't really learn anything skill-wise. Uh, like I said, I've been doing English for a long, long time. I've been writing research papers for a long time. Uh, so I just applied all that knowledge that I already had to this. What I felt good about going into this paper with was I was going to learn a little bit about my heritage and my family's heritage. And I wanted to show that uh, everyone's ancestors go through a little bit of a struggle and no one's better than one another. I find that a lot of people nowadays believe that their ancestors might have struggled longer or harder, but in the end, everyone's ancestors went through some kind of, kind of crap. Uh, and it's not a win or lose game. I feel like everyone's comparing their history. It's more of a, a learning experience and a learning game.